Good morning. It's Tuesday morning. It's 11 o'clock and we are on our way to the post office. Not because we have much to ship out, but I'm actually working on getting some Christmas stamps because I'm sort of, sort of thinking about Christmas cards since I'm sitting and not doing much of anything else. Well, Christmas cards seem the most likely thing to be able to do without exerting myself too much but we all have been because mommy has been not exerting herself we've all been wandering around practically aimlessly so we're hoping that this will reset everything and we'll hopefully have some new fresh ambition what do you think art uh, you want some one, ambition one can hope um, <laughs> i have plenty of ambition i'm eager to do stuff but when janelle is um, how do I say it nicely? Um, sitting mellow, very calmly. And, uh, I don't know if calmly is right. When Janelle is sitting and just sitting there, uh, it's very hard for me to do anything. Um, I know I should be the leader and take action, but it is hard to do that when Janelle is doing nothing um, because I am running around, putting out fires, trying to keep kids under control, uh, taking kid, girls potty, uh, this and that. Huh. Janelle and I are going on a quick little date into the post office. We're back from the post office and we're all in here and Janelle is going to help us sort clothing and we're going to oh. deal with all this stuff. We have a whole bunch of uh, snow suits and stuff that need to go on the Burnt Hills garage sale site so <laughs> we're, we're going to take care of that first. Yeah, I like uh, is this one done yet? No, you did not do that. One. Dad, can you zip it up? Yep. Yeah, here we go. I'm okay. breaking my leg. Ready, Mommy? There you go. You're watching that break my leg. There you egg. get it away. Better hurry, Mom. Broke my egg. Now we're going to try to sell our tapestry. Um, I got this in Omaha, Nebraska many years ago when my sister was there uh, at, in the Omaha Symphony. And uh, we stopped at this really super expensive antique shop. Hey. And this was like the cheapest thing they had there. And it looked really nice. The only problem is we don't have anywhere to put it in this house. It's been sitting around, but I kind of want someone to enjoy it, and uh, so we're just going to try to sell it. What? What? How much money did you buy it for? I spent two fifty. Ouch! And it'll probably sell it for about fifty if anyone wants it. Why did but you pay so much for it? Because it looked nice, and we, I got a lot. Of, it it looked very nice in my house, and. Um, and then we got married, it looked nice in our other house, but then when we moved here, there's really nowhere to put it. So, I got my joy out of it. Now we're trying to sell the train. Um, I don't even know for sure where we got this from. It's never been used, and it's not in very... It's, it's not very high quality, so we just want to sell it. We have other trains, so don't think, don't think we're selling our only train here. We got a whole bunch of stuff listed, and now Janelle is going to blow up her ball. And what's the ball for? To sit on. It's going to be more comfortable than this chair. Right now to sit on? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm finishing blowing up the ball while Janelle is ordering the stuff that she needs for her birth kit. Yep. And what do you need? I don't need much. It's a cord ring, some extra gloves, um, a cold oh. compress, and something else. It's not much. It's $19 worth. And when we finish, when I finish assembling the entire birth kit, I will be doing a separate video. Janelle is switching to her bouncy ball. Uh, is that better? A little low, but we'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. I don't want to blow it up too much the first day. We'll have to fill it up a little bit more. Charity made lunch today. She made some pizza and apples and salad. <laughs> Good morning. It is Wednesday morning and Art has taken four of the kids up to his shop because he's got more work to do and Charity and Grace are here with me. I'm going to be working on a little bit of my freezer today and cooking up some food with Charity's help and see if I can make a little bit of a dent in that because, you know, time is ticking. I'm pulling this out of my freezer bucket of things to get rid of and this is a cooked corned beef. I cooked it about mm, maybe three months ago and I use this for corned beef casserole so I'm going to use that for my dinner tonight. We're cooking, cooking up our onions and then we found a few cloves of garlic that were in the freezer. We're going to use those too because we're in the spirit of the purge. Oh, hello! Are you shopping? Okay. Crazy 
grease driver. Watch the walls. We've got the bones cooking. Charity has finished up the corned beef casserole. Here's what it looks like now. Very easy to assemble right here. The only thing I need to do is put the breadcrumbs on the top and then this will get baked until it's nice and warm and bubbly. But super easy. My mom used to actually make this all the time when I was a kid and that was back in the days when corned beef, canned corned beef was really cheap so it made a really inexpensive meal. Since then corned beef prices have gone through the roof for whatever reason. So I end up using my own corned beef that's left over from St. Patrick's Day. I stock up when the corned beefs are fairly inexpensive. It's just easier and cheaper to cook my own, package it in one pound packages, and then use it for days like today because it is a super easy casserole to put together. If you're interested in the recipe, I'll put the link down below where you guys can go find a printable version of it if you guys want to try it yourself. We found these breadcrumbs in the freezer too, so we're gonna use those on top of the corned beef casserole. I think this will use probably most of those up, so that'll be another thing out of the freezer. There's actually a little dent in here. Some of these things I can't use as fast, like there's no way I can use that much garlic in one thing, so that's gonna be a slow process on that. And then obviously, whoops, stay in there. The chopped jalapenos are again another thing that's gonna take a little bit longer, but I'll just have to keep making omelets for Art and myself so we can get rid of those because Art and I like those really, really hot omelets in the morning. And there's a few more jalapeno poppers in there, but oh, I think we're slowly getting down there. I would like to make, these are pieces of salt pork. I'd like to make some beans, but again, this is two batches of beans, so I'm not sure that I'm gonna actually do that today. Maybe tomorrow, I'll put that on my menu for tomorrow. But we're gonna get down here. I am determined to get this down there before this baby comes. I don't know, we might not use the whole package up this time. Yeah, let's do the rest of them. We'll get rid of them. Works for me. It's Wednesday, so you know what that means? Bye bye trash sickle, you're going in the trash. Look at all that extra space in the door now. Doesn't that look better? Yes it does. Along with dinner, I'm making some sauteed squash, and onions, and garlic, and that's gonna go along with our corned beef casserole and whatever other leftovers we find in the refrigerator tonight. We're down to just a handful of squash, and then this zucchini, I actually wanna make my zucchini, my last batch of zucchini curry with. I just need to get the energy up to do that. But we're making progress, the basket's getting down there. This basket I would like at least gone through and all the squash and stuff gone before Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving is eight days away. Get something in the box and find out what it is. It's yellow, it's yellow. yellow. I like yellow and I like green and I like orange. I bet it's trash. The states and their symbols. Oh. Kentucky facts and symbols. <laughs> we can learn more about Kentucky. From top. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, well, you guys are going to library book. You guys are going to like reading this one. This one's good. Capital Frankfurt is the capital of Kentucky. What is the largest oh. city? Who knows? Uh, Louisville. Nope. Is that? Nope. Lexington, say oh. it. Lexington! We're just heating up dinner for tonight with the corned beef casserole, but I'll quick give you a look at how it looks after it's been cooked. The kids went out to the post office and to the music store to pick up some more instruments, and it's busy as busy, busy as usual around here. Yum. There it is. It's all cooked and browned and looks good. What do you think, Pete? I'm gonna eat a it ton of it. Good. It looks eat really it. good. I'm not gonna eat it. John's not gonna eat a ton. No. A ton is two thousand pounds. Yeah, I'm, we're I'm gonna, gonna eat a lot. You're gonna eat a lot. You're hungry? Mm -hmm. Of course. Mm -hmm.